you are familiar with git where we push our code to remote repo but have you imagined to be able to push your whole local environment to remote server yes that is what docker does docker packages our local build and execution environment to remote server traditionally we build applications as executable for example jar or webpack bundle and after that we set up environment on remote server to run this executable so deploying involves two processes build and run but docker help us to package whole environment which has capability to build and run application inside single container and this container can be pushed up to docker repository and then pulled down on remote server in single line of command so there are multiple advantages of this approach first docker containers are isolated units from host system so consistency can be ensured while deploying applications on any kind of remote server there won't be situation where developer says it works on my machine with docker if application works on local then it will definitely work on server secondly developer don't have to work closely with system administrators because developer already outlines everything about build and execution process inside one special file called as docker file which we will see in next few seconds so let's build our front end react application and our back end as docker containers i have one sample react application running on localhost address and port number 3000 This app displays list of products. Product detail comes from backend as part of REST API. Backend is simulated using JSON server npm package which helps us to deploy REST API using simple JSON file. Backend is running on localhost 3004 port number. So we will first docker as our react application and next docker as our JSON server which is our backend. Let's create docker file for our frontend. We will call it docker file frontend. Docker file is a blueprint for our container. We list down all the necessary tools and packages needed to build and run our application. For our front end, we will need node to be installed to build and run our application. So instead of installing tools manually as a part of Docker image, we will create our image from node image. So it's like inheritance in object oriented programming. We inherit all packages and tools from node image. so node and npm becomes already available as a part of node image next step is to copy our code from host machine to container npm install command to install dependencies and last we will have entry point which runs our application using npm start command finally let's expose port 3000 so application is available on it let's build our front end as a docker image using docker build command in this command we have provided our docker file and name for our image which is products front end let's run one instance of container using docker run command here d means run container in background 3000 on left side means port of host machine and port on right side means port number of container this is called as port forwarding now we have successfully containerized our products front end application and it is running on port 3000 problem is it is not showing any products because there is no backend let's create second docker file with name docker file backend it will be same as our front end docker file except change in commands we will first install json server globally then copy our database file into container and finally run our backend as entry point we can see our backend will run on ip address of default network and port 3004 Let's build image using docker build command. Now we have backend image ready. We can see it using docker images command. Let's run one instance of container using docker run command. We will provide name of our newly built image. We can use docker ps command to see our containers running. Now if we refresh our front end we can see our products are being rendered inside browser. Now that we have tested our images by running those as a container our images are ready to ship on remote server we can either publish these images on docker hub or github container registry you can simply push images and later pull and run so that's it for today if you like this video then please like and share this video we are releasing docker compose and kubernetes videos next if you don't want to miss that then please subscribe to this channel thank you